right, let's take a look at the software now. So as I mentioned before, the software is free and can be downloaded from phoenixcontact.com forward slash printers. That's a great landing page. It also has your printer drivers, firmware, and guides to help you walk through the software. So I like to tell customers to go there when you first start and you can download it to multiple PCs as I mentioned earlier. But once you have the software open, you're going to see this page here. There might be some pop-ups that pop up when you originally open it, but typically what happens over time is you close those all out. I usually like to close them all out because I'm a little OCD and I like my screen being clean. So to get to those though, you can come over here to this view tab and you open up the insertion center. So if you're starting a new project, this is exactly what you do. You open the insertion center and under the insertion center, you'll see all the printers so it'll be listed. So we're going to start with the Thermark card. There's obviously a, the Thermark roll, you got to scroll down to see them. And it lists all the material for that printer. As you can see, there's a ton of material options. And because of that, you'll see some of these will have a little yellow mark on them. And what that is, is I've actually favored that material. Uh, so all you do is come down here and select favorite. Once you have them favorite, you can come up here and click this window and it just shows the materials that you have favorited. This is really helpful so you're not always scrolling through to find your material for your, for your printer. So once you have them selected, you can either double click or click and drag. So I'm gonna double click this uh, UCT TM5. So as you see, when you double click it, it automatically populates onto the screen. And once you're here, the most commonly used tool so you can either come in and type in anything you want. So you can come in and just type in individually, um, which works, but that's kind of a slow way of doing it. So to help speed that process up, if you have a sequence of numbers, we have the label numbering sequence here. So you can select this guy and you see it pops up here. So I'm gonna drag it open and then I'm gonna close my insertion center. And here you can see my, my number labeling. So you have a start value, an end value, and an increment. So for this card, there's 72 markers on this card. So I'm going to do a start with a start value of 001 and an end value of 072. And we're going to go in increments of 001. And so I have it selected here. So if I hit start, you'll see exactly that. We have now 1 through 72. Uh, something else you'll notice here is your repetition. So this is number per label. And what that will do, if you had 1 through 5, it's going to be if you did a two there for one through five, what it's gonna do is gonna go one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, and so on. Uh, number per block is similar, but it's gonna go one through five, and then one through five if you put a two there. Uh, so it kind of groups them instead of going one after the other. So we can do that, I'll do that right now. So I'm gonna do undo, and then I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna put, we'll do 36. So we're just, so we're gonna fill the whole card out here, but we'll do 36, and do number per label. So this is the one that's gonna repeat right after each other. So I'll do two. I hit start value here, and you're gonna see that. So you have one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, and so on. Uh, now going back to number per, per block, as I mentioned, this is gonna do one through 36, and then one through 36 again. This is kind of nice if you're marking two sides of a terminal block and you wanna have them grouped together. This is kind of a cool way of doing that. So if I, I do this here, you can see right now, it goes one through 36, and it starts back down to one through 36 again. So that's a really cool way of doing your groups. Uh, other than that, the other, uh, other than that, the other commonly used functions of the software is your special characters. So this is where you're going to get your ground symbols and your other uh, symbols that you may need. Uh, so here's the ground symbol. We'll put that in. So you just click and select it and put it in. Uh, now the Germans and their software, they give you a lot of options. So there's all sorts of different options depending on what you need and font styles. They even have your house, your house labels here. So if you need to mark your dishes, you got that as well. Uh, I don't know why you need that, but you know, glad to have it. So moving on, uh, I like to tell people to format lastly. Here, I'm gonna fill this card out one last time. So we're gonna put one through 72. I'm just gonna go one through. I'm actually gonna do a prefix here too. So typically we'll see like an I colon, so your inputs. Uh, so I'm gonna do that right now. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna fill this out really quick so you guys can see what the whole card looks like. But when we format these, I like to tell people to format this lastly. So I'm gonna go back in here and put this to 72. 72, all right. Now we're gonna just do that. So now we just fill my whole card out. So now the card's completely filled out. I like to tell people to format last, as I just mentioned. Uh, I like to do that just in case you change the format somewhere else and you forget to change it somewhere else further in the cards. I like to just say last thing to do, just format, rotate, do it all at the end. So all you can do is, this is a window-based program. So I have the first one selected. I'm gonna press shift 
I'm going to click the last one. So we just selected all of them. I'm going to rotate it 90. So there's your rotate option there. So now you can see all your markers are nice, layer, clear, and labeled. There's also these sections if you guys want to mark certain areas of the machine. So like the, these are my output markers. This is a cool area to do that as well. Uh, it's just a nice way to help keep it organized when you guys are going through these. So there you go, you can see them all there. Again, on the, you can change your font sizes. So we'll come in here, you can change font sizes. So you can pick your fonts, your, your type of text, however you guys want it. Whatever looks best to you and however you guys prefer, you have all those options right there. Other than that, another cool feature you can use in this software is your data exchange. So this function here is where you can use Excel. So if you guys are big on using Excel and uploading your files there, you can definitely do that. Uh, you can walk through, uh, I'm not gonna walk through it now, it's got kind of a handful of steps, but we also have a guide on that, that page that I just mentioned that walks through step for step on how to bring in your Excel and how to format that so it looks proper in your, in your documents here. With that being said, that's the printers in a nutshell. So make sure to reach out to your local NEF representative and we'll get back to you as soon as possible and we look forward to hearing from you.